All right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And we are going to be beginning in just a second. I need to hook a few things up. College is tough. When I'm cramming for exams and missing mom's cooking, it's good to know that Discover Student Loans helped me cover my college costs. 3.5 GPA? What? Beginning in just a second. I need to hook a few things up. All right. That was crazy. All right, let's see, put this here. Let's jump into it. Make sure it's all. All right, we should be good to go. Let's see, let's get in here. This is going to be straight information tonight. That should be better. Let's see. As you know, I've been talking about YouTube for business all week. And let me just show you some stuff. I made big change with the whole platform. And I'm going to get into that in a second. And I'm going to let everyone else in the other deal. I'll be right back. Uh, if you can hear me, no, you don't have to buy the book, Tony. If you're in the membership program of Hustlers Kung Fu Dojo, you're going to get this. Uh, we got a little behind, so that's going to happen probably later tonight or more likely in the morning. Okay, so let's jump into this. We've got folks in the room. Hey, George, uh, Antonio, this is about YouTube for business, so that's what we're going to be talking about tonight. And with that, let me get into it. <clears throat> uh, one of the biggest issues that people have is on uh, trying to make money online is getting traffic. And I know I'm, I feel a little stupid because I haven't thought of this before, but work on getting attention, work on getting traffic before you do anything else because that's exactly what I did. And many people really, really struggle. They'll get into something or they'll use a tactic and <clears throat> it just doesn't work out really well for them because they're missing the big thing which is attention so what we're gonna do is solve that now this is you know and the deal that was going on last week is over that was you know if you weren't on the email list you missed it but there's another deal tonight and essentially it is you'll get all of this stuff that I'm about to explain for 200 bucks if you act before midnight. Just, just go ahead and get that out the way. Now, one of the things <clears throat> that happens with people is they don't have, um, there's a lot of really good quality instruction on YouTube about YouTube, but it's not set up for business people most of it is how to be nice how to set up your youtube channel what camera to buy that doesn't mean anything i made full-time income on youtube using a potato an electronic potato my first camera was a sony cyber shot wasn't really all that but i used it for two years and made about 250 videos so this is what's going to happen I'm going to give you the preliminary how to start a YouTube channel for business. Not how to just start a YouTube channel, but YouTube for business, how to sell products and services with video. That's what I've been doing since 2009. 
very successfully, I might add. Now, the first thing is, I was putting together this book, and I had this quandary where I was dealing with a customer, or a client, and they were really, really frustrated with the YouTube part. So I just kind of moved, cleared off my schedule, and just sat down with them, and hands-on, worked on this stuff, and we finally got through it. And I was like, you know what? I bet everyone's going through this. I bet this is the big thing. So it's Eastern Standard Time <laughs> and Santiago, hello. Now for anyone that's gonna see this a little later, this is recorded because I'm gonna leave it up until probably 12. All right, so what I'm gonna do is give you the basics of how to start a YouTube channel and do it the right way. And what I mean is, set your channel up from day one to make money versus setting your channel up to get attention because most YouTube channels are set up to get views. They're not set up to get conversions. They're not set up to make money. And if they make money, that's usually like a lucky coincidence or some people are really smart and they'll, they have a plan, but most YouTube channels fail. So the first thing is there's this book and the first part's available right now and it's YouTube for Business, How to Sell Stuff with Video. Now, I'm gonna just go in here and Let's just go back and then we'll go in here as a student, let you see what's going down. All right, just some things you need to know. This book is not done. It's clocking in at about 20,000 words. There's four more chapters I'm going to do, so it's going to push it up to 30. And once the book is done, before the end of June, will be proofed and made into a hard copy. Now, if you buy this edition, the only thing you'll have to pay is shipping if you want it. You're also getting UPU for, for business video funnels, supercharge your sales. When I was writing the book, I started to really realize that the video funnel section is a book unto itself instead of me trying to cram a bunch of stuff into one chapter. And it was just, I was like, you know what, just make a whole book a whole set of new tutorials just for that. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, these are not just ebooks or PDFs, that's what they are in now. These are textbooks on how to make money with YouTube. That's what they're going to be. And I'll be doing at least one live event or training per week. And there will be a YouTube business group. It won't be on Facebook. And that's where I'm going to start spending most of my time because a lot of people are confused about video, they're scared of video, they are fearful of video, and it shouldn't be like that. So we're going to do that. And then there's going to be some nifty digital citizen shirts coming, and everyone that gets in now. And like I said, it's going to be a three to $5,000 course once I get it fully fleshed out, get all of these books done, and there may be a third book. I'm debating in that. But that's where we're going. So let me check in here, see if, uh, no questions, cool. But that's what you should know. And then, okay, that's the book. I didn't even look at the page count. It came in at 91 pages. I just put it together. And like I said, it's probably going to be, it doesn't have the illustrations in it yet. Which is, that's why I'm doing the hard copy. Because when you do PDFs and stuff, everything just kind of goes crazy. And I want it to be a nice hard copy. And like I said, it's going to be, I'm saying 30,000 words, it might go up to 50. You know, there's some other concepts that I'm thinking about putting in this one. And then video funnels is going to be probably another 50,000 words because there's a lot that goes with that. And like I said, I just can't cram it in there. Also, you know, I'm going to take that out because we're going to have a group to have discussion and we're going to be really active. And then you get all this too because I started this. This used to be Project YouTube. And I really wanted to do it in a better way than I did before. So I waited and I sell it. So you go ahead and sign up tonight. You will start. Now this we go into the best way to make money on YouTube, which is the core value I have of selling products and services. 
then you have the most important thing you'll ever do. I break down how you pick your topic, your, your, genre, your, your genre, your niche, which is real important. Uh, payment systems, content marketing strategy. Essentially, this and the book will probably take you two weeks to do, or three, if you're really doing it correctly. So that's one of the reasons I'm releasing it, and there's going to be new information new things going down in the group because one of the things I spend probably good 10 hours a week is on education and that's something else that people are just not getting which is what's going on with video what not to do like this whole thing there's a bunch of courses out there about ranking videos right well if you do the right title and you do the right metadata data and you throw some keywords in there and all of this other stuff, right? It'll rank. Now, if it ranks and then someone goes to watch it and they abandon that video within 30 seconds or a minute, it will not be recommended. And I think, yeah, I can show you this. We go in here. And this is really, really important. This is crazy, crazy important because people are not saying this and some people are and I give them their credit there are some people who are saying it video watch time is the most important factor of your video it's more important than your thumbnail it's more important than your title it's more important than all of the quote optimization you could do right because if no one watches it it will not be recommended and that is where you make your money and I'm gonna show you the difference between this month and last month uh, I was part of a network, and I'll get into that in a minute, because I wanted to join the network, because you hear a lot of stuff about networks, and I wanted to have real fresh information, and I just came out of that network a few days ago, which is why my dashboard doesn't have all the numbers that used to have. For some reason, when you join the network, whatever information you have in your dash, it disappears, and then their information goes in. I don't know what's going on with that. But this was last month. And this is where I was. Now, this is 42% of my views are suggested videos, which means YouTube is pushing my videos. They're saying, hey, go watch Hustlers Kung Fu. Now, this is 42%. This is last month. Now, let me show you something from last year. I was at 38%. So... I made a lot of changes in the channel. I've done some stuff, and these are the things I'm going to teach you so you can get recommended. Because ranking without recommended is like not good at all. Now, this this month, because like I said, I made a lot of changes to the channel, and this is now 54%. Now, Friday it was 52%. So this is going in the right direction. Uh, my goal is to get this to like 80%, where 80% of my views are recommended. <clears throat> And the path that I'm taking to do that is what I'm going to teach you. So let's see. All right. Uh, Mega Man 35990. Will this book have basic information on what basic equipment you will need? Yes and no. Uh, matter of fact, I have a whole chapter on that. Let me go in here. Let's see, let's go for let's go here. All right. Let that pop up. Uh, I think it's chapter six. You know what? It's gonna take me too long to go through all that. I will tell you that I go into a lot of detail on equipment because here's the deal. Can you start with your iPhone right now? Yeah, you can. <clears throat> but I want you to ask yourself, everyone that you watch with a significant following, they're using more than an iPhone. And there's a reason why. There's just certain things you just can't get with an iPhone. But I will, I will and this is going to be part of the group discussion because everyone's going to have different needs. Say someone is going to do tutorials. They need you know, Camtasia or screen or, you know, uh, screen flow from Apple. So it just really depends. But I will break it down from 
the cheapest way to get in to how you should chart your path to getting better equipment because it is important but the strategy is more important hey what's up in australia i gotta say when i was looking at stuff there's a lot of people internationally that would buy the youtube course i mean you know from russia um the ukraine australia all over the place and i think the difference is youtube is something that you can do anywhere and you don't have <laughs> greetings from the usa that's funny you don't have that situation that you would have with how does resell work in another part of the world which is very different because we're in the united states we're really fortunate that we have so much excess that literally people can make a career out of going to garage sales and flipping stuff you can't do that in a lot of parts of the world well, many people they don't even have that kind of room to have that much stuff so it gets to be real interesting hold on a second uh i got two things going on and i'm going to hit this other one crew real quick real quick uh let's see dr anita jack davies hey how you doing Uh, no, Regina, go over to YouTube because what I'm, you know, I'm doing the main thing live and I couldn't get both the microphone to work on both computers. So it's not that. It's a uh, matter of fact, will this work? Hold on a second. No, that's not going to work. But yeah, if you go to YouTube live, you will see me and this will be recorded and you can go. You should have got an email saying that you are your your courses and everything's in your dashboard so you sh you can go right there to hustleskungfu.com get in there and start learning this is really for folks who want more of an explanation of what's going on how this thing is going to be now a big part of this and i'll just go ahead and say it is you know if you were a member of my old Facebook group and I'm not doing any more Facebook groups I was in there all the time answering questions posting content well I'm gonna to return to that activity except it's gonna be in the YouTube for business group and this is why once you learn how to build traffic and get attention everything else opens up you like this is what I put in there in a writing group years ago and I, they, they, they got, I got blasted. I said, you should start advertising your book before you even write it. And they were like, no, no, you're writing everything. Uh, I made a decision after talking to a client to start on the book and I kind of flipped everything around. I started that book 10 days ago and you know, you know 20,000 words, you know, cause I was trying to consistently keep like 2000 words a day and I, I didn't use the, uh, the, narr the narration software because that just makes editing a nightmare but essentially you got to get attention you, you got to have a way for people to find you easily because everyone is struggling for the attention graph yeah because uh like i said i couldn't set up both microphones because something was going on and that's why i did it on youtube because it, there's a lot of people who are wondering how this thing is going to go. So with that, for some folks who just jumped on, I will get into foundation. All right. This is, you know, if you spend all week on this, you're going to be in the house. Now, this is going to expand considerably because as I was writing the book, when you do it every day, you don't really think about all of the uh, nuances and the things, you, you know, you just automatically do it. Well, all of that stuff is going to be in the course, it's going to be in the book, and it's going to be, in, like I said, the second book. And what I'm going to do, oh, and this is something else too. This is going to be, I got this suggestion. Uh, when you join the course, you buy the book, you get the course, we're going to look at each other's videos. See, this is the reason for the group, because when you do YouTube, you're pretty much by yourself most of the time. Well. What if you had a group where everybody was making videos and you put your videos in there and then people could say like, hey, well, this is wrong, where you can uh, tighten up your videos before releasing them to the world. And I'm going to teach you how to set your channel up for success. And part of that is this. Go back to. Right. 
right here. This, this is it. Because part of the reason I made that jump in recommendation is because of this. And playlist. I'm going to teach you how to set up playlists. A lot of people don't set up playlists. That is a big, big mistake. Because playlist comes up in search and the keywords of the playlist come in search. And this right here is the reason I went from 38% to 54% right here. This right here. Because I spent two and a half months building it out because, and then, you know, these are just kind of here for folks who are like wondering about the channel. And then there's a lot of folks who are looking at this. And then as, a, oh yeah, I'm doing the t-shirt business. And I'll just talk about that later. But getting a designer is rough. It's really rough. But I'm going to teach you how to lay out your channel like this and how to set up your videos. Now, will you have to post a video every day? No. There is a big, big misconception with that. I can tell you one thing that would make more juice to your YouTube channel, and it sounds a little funny. You load your, ch your video to YouTube, right? Then you just leave it there. Then the next day, you tweet it if you use Twitter. Then the next day you put it on Instagram. Then the next day you put it on Facebook. Each day your video is getting a little extra oomph, which sends a signal to YouTube that people are looking at it. And that's just one way to do it. Uh, Rugged Collis, I'm anxious to start my YouTube channel. I made a physical product. Will this, too, will this YouTube thing work for me? Oh, yeah. It will be killer. Because, see, when you do... The physical products and you just can't like okay uh i wonder if i can see it let me see if i can find him because he sells a db he sells a physical product now he doesn't use youtube he uses um instagram he sells a lot of stuff on instagram and let's see Because uh, actually I brought him, he's, his interview is actually in the interview section. And he said he gets most of his sales from Instagram and Tumblr. So because of the visual unleash, like I said, he's been killing it. Now, if you're selling a physical product, if you do how-to videos, you show people how you make them, that will be huge, 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 huge in you getting put on. I mean, crazy huge. Uh, what if I don't want to show my face on videos? I want to compile videos, do editing stuff, voiceovers. You can do that. It just depends on what you want to explain. I mean, like gamers. We don't know what gamers look like. All of them are just doing voiceovers where they play the game. Uh, the Khan Academy. Have you ever seen the guy? You usually have to go and do a Google search to find out what he looks like because you don't see him. So it just depends on what you're doing. But yeah, a lot of people. Now, just a question to you. Why don't you want to show your face? I'm just curious about that. All right. Okay, so we're good over there. Uh, David is in the house. Let's see. And David has a channel with seven videos. So does anyone have a question about YouTube and how the program is going to work? Because like I said, this is just like really short. Um, because I'm going to be doing more of these. You know, this isn't going to, I'm not going to be here for hours and hours and hours and hours. Uh, this will be the first of many things where I'll talk about this because one of the things that's happening with YouTube is a lot of people who are old-time YouTubers are struggling big time. I have a face for radio. Well, it's related to a niche I don't want the outside world to know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I got someone else who's working on a niche like that right now. Yep, the YouTube group. Oh, let's talk about that. The YouTube group, I don't have it. Let's see. Let me see. Can I find it? 
because I've got it on my laptop because I was setting it up. And then people will be added next week to the group, but it's going to be my T. Nope, <laughs> I can't get into it. Uh, hold on a second. But the group's going to be private. And one of the reasons it will be off of Facebook. Well, you know, everyone knows how I feel about that right now. But part of that's going to be. Uh, let's see. I really want this to be like a classroom environment and Facebook is so busy that it's, it's kind of ridiculous. I mean, really, it really is. And all right, hold on a second. That should have worked. Oh, I see the problem. Hold on. Who here wants to make a business channel or <laughs> I can't get in there. Let's see. Hold on a second. I know how to do this. I know exactly what the problem is. Hold on. Well, with the, uh, the group being private, your friends can't see what's going on. No one's going to be able to see your videos unless they're in the group. It's going to be very, very much a real deal in terms of privacy, education, and classroom training. Because one of the things I have in the works is I'm trying to get in the office. And part of the thing, once we get this rolling, is four times a year, I'm going to have boot camps where we all get together, for those who can come, and we'll do workshops, and I'll get other professionals to come in and speak, you know, make it a nice little event. So, to make it super sexy and hot. Alrighty, let's see. Alright. There we go. Alright, this is going to be the group and we're going to talk about a lot of different things like how to do a business video, how to do personal videos. There, there's going to be many, many different things. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, there's a bunch of things. Um, Regina, I need to know if I need to purchase a Mac computer. I never used a Mac before. That's really a personal preference. Now, if you've got the money to blow, you know, because someone had asked earlier about equipment, Macs make it really easy for video. But once again, it all depends on where you are. Do you have to buy one? No. But if um, you're going to do it, if, you gotta, if you're in the market for a computer, uh, I will say, you know, depend upon your budget, get a Mac with an i7 chip. If you get the Mac, iMac, which is the desktops, get the i5 at least. They can handle up to 4K pretty easy. Uh, Ray, what about doing Facebook Live? It's quite good. In the book, I have a chapter about that, and I'm going to tell you about an experiment I did. I used to have a Facebook page, Glenn and Cameron, right? 
Well, it had 2,100 plus likes. I was putting videos on that page. I would take the same videos and put them on a raw YouTube channel. Now, guess which one was getting the most views? That's right, the raw YouTube channel with no subscribers. So I was like, now with that, if you're going to do Facebook video, do it off of your personal page. Their reach is much better and their actions are much better and people share. I don't know what's going on with that, but uh, I've kind of tested some stuff because I'll be putting business videos up on my page on the regular now because it just go further. Uh, let's see. Since the collective attention span of the general public is about five seconds, how long of a video do you suggest we make? Make it as long as it needs to be. Some of my videos are literally an hour long and they have 67% watch retreat, which means 67% of the people who find that video watch all of it. The, yeah, um, it just really depends because, like I said, you know, what are you doing? What are you talking about? What are you trying to teach? What, there's so many objectives that will come in that to that. Well, many variables. Yeah, the group is because, I mean, making videos is, is a lonely rock proposition. And I'm in Atlanta. I know Aaron Marino, Alpha M, Alpha M, he's here, but he's got so much going on. You know, I get to talk to him like once every while. And if you're making videos and no one else in your circle is making videos, you know, it's just like it, it could get lonely and, and you don't get that support. Yeah, well, let's see. Um, yeah, because I think you can use Adobe on everything. Let's see. Uh, Regina Ross, any suggestions? What's your budget? That's the big thing because I would suggest for video getting an iMac versus the laptop. The laptop is more portable, but I've got two iMacs and a laptop and I've done videos on my laptop. And unless you've got like a standing desk or an extended monitor, you can run into some um, other issues. I think Regina has some money to spend, and I think she's buying a computer. That's what I think it is. So if you got it and it's not going to hurt you, go ahead. Uh, we got Rick and Profit in the house. <laughs> He's been real busy. Um. Oh, I mean for the class. No, no, I'm just going to do webinars. <clears throat> you know, everyone in the in the in the group will have a link, and we'll just do a webinar. Uh, this is, like I said, I got a chapter on in the book about Facebook Live. Now, look what happened to Meerkat and like Periscope's real high and everything. But the thing is, if you're a busy person, and once again, this is YouTube for Business, you have so much going on because, like, I don't watch a lot of live videos. So if I catch some, it's going to be the recorded version because if I'm doing something important, I'm not going to stop doing that to watch the live video. I think it's a little gimmicky. I think um, it has its place at the right time. I think scheduled live video is awesome. But, yeah, I'm not going to be doing anything in terms of the business on Facebook. And simply put, what happened with my groups, because the first one, it just kind of disappeared and it came back. I didn't get any emails. Then the second one just straight disappeared. I didn't, no notifications, none. I was like, you know what? I can't be, that's, that's just too much. <laughs> Once you go Mac, you'll never go back. That's funny. But yeah, we're going to get really deep. And that's one of the reasons that this course is, you know, I can show you the framework. Matter of fact, let me go here. Yeah, this is going to get to be significantly, or I can come out this way. And yeah. This is going to probably triple in size once I'm done. What's already here. And there's a lot here. Oh yeah, and there's something else. I'm going to do a podcast. It won't, it's going to be a different one. I haven't come up with the name yet. But the podcast is going to be for digital citizens. People with ebooks, people with audiobooks, courses, 
podcasts and YouTube channels. Essentially, anyone that's doing digital media or selling digital products, that's going to be who this podcast is for. Because with that, uh, I can talk to some people who've written some of my favorite books because they would make sense for the podcast. I can, you know, there's a, it just opens up to a lot more stuff that I can do. Uh, I have an old PC and tablet. I need a new computer and I want to buy right the first time. I totally get that. Now, I think I saw your name. You're in you're in YouTube for business, right? Because we'll we'll talk about that extensively. I will tell you exactly what kind of Mac to buy and everything. So that if you're not like at a hole burning in your wallet, we could discuss that Tuesday because we're going to probably spend all day tomorrow making sure that everybody's, you know, got what they needed to get because there's other stuff that's going on. So I'm just going to get everybody in the course. Then we're going to start probably adding people to the group Tuesday. Well, I actually... I mean, you could probably do the same thing with PCs, but I just upgraded my 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 MacBook Pro, which I got in 2011. I got a new battery and a flash drive, and you know it handles 4K video like a champ. Oh yeah, uh, I haven't, like I said, did the name of the show, but the thing is, there's so many people I can talk to. You know, I can just like, hey, I got this podcast, and I want to bring folks on. It just opens up a world of possibilities because. One of the reasons that, you know, someone sent me an email, is like, you're going to stop doing the business training. I was like, no, I'm not going to stop doing the business training, but I'm going to focus more on the online business training because August 7th would be my eighth year on YouTube. <laughs> so that's a lot of time. And I see all over the place that people are not, you know, I saw a guy and I'm not going to mention names where he just straight up lied about what he was doing to get views on YouTube. Because I audited the channel, I audited his channel, I knew exactly what he was doing. And he, and he didn't, the thing is, he didn't have to lie. He didn't have to. And I was like, wow, I don't know why you're doing that. Because they can't do what he's doing because they don't have his money. So, but he, he never, nonetheless, he did not drop the truth. So, if you were on the email list, you got the offer of the year, which closed at seven. Now, I'm going to leave this up where you can get this before midnight it's 200 bucks and you get this because you know it's important for you to know what you're getting you're going to get this book you're going to get this book and you're going to get this course and you're going to be part of the youtube group now i've got people who are on you know higher level plans where you know we talk every week i'm going to look at their stuff way differently and you know once we get in the group we can talk about that um, benefits of showing your face versus not showing your face on videos. It really depends who you are. Cause let me, let me show you something. Let me just go here because this guy has blown up. I mean, see, I didn't even have to go hard. And what he did was genius. Uh, because you see his face here, but when you go to his channel and like I said, this is what I'm talking about because he is making a lot of money from Amazon affiliates. He's created a channel called Amazon Warrior. Not a channel, but a, a show. And what he does is he brings out the Ciroc. He's funny as hell. And he just reviews products and like, this is a go. This is a win. Get this. Get this. Um, and he's been on YouTube a while, too. And that's the cool thing about YouTube. It, he, he's been here forever. And look what he did. Now, I remember <clears throat> when he was struggling. And this is the thing about YouTube. If you stick it out and you keep innovating and figure out where we're through, because like I said, when he did it, the Amazon Warrior, you know, he had his little, you know, the talk shit. Uh, he's like, go get your drinks. And then they're like, he's literally drinking and reviewing products. And when you click the link, it's an Amazon affiliate. And let's see. All right. I can kind of, let's go here and I'll show you a little trick. Well, everybody knows about Social Blade, but he doesn't show his face going back to what Tony was saying. He doesn't show his face. He used to, but you don't see it. 
So Flossy Connor. Damn, he's killing it. Two million views. Now I'm just gonna put this out there. I got like a million five views last year, some million eight, something like that. And the AdSense on that was twelve thousand dollars. Twelve or fourteen, I don't remember. He could literally be getting seven to eight grand a month from AdSense and the affiliate thing could be sick. He could I mean because one of the things is like, you know, I've watched him for years and his money has definitely gotten better. I mean, he has improved stuff. I remember it was a video he did with, oh yeah, Amazon Warrior. That's it. I mean, this was just pure genius. Pure genius. Uh, every Sunday they get up there, people come in and, you know, he's showing his face. Now, also something else. He's improved his video game because, you know, he didn't show his face for a long time because he would just put the products in front of him and you see his hands but he's definitely got a better light and the thing is I can tell you exactly what he's doing he may or may not be in the dark room but he's only got one light on him and it's usually a direct light and it gives this almost floating head effect because he's got a black shirt and you just you know it can be really really cool so that's that's it on the showing your face thing Uh, we should have held the price down a little longer. No, see, the price was for people on the email list. Uh, one of the things, and I'm going to teach you this, is if you keep doing everything for everybody, there's no reason to get on the list. So the price was for everybody on the list. A lot of people took took advantage, and <clears throat> this is this is not. <clears throat> excuse me. This this is just the beginning. This is going to be a three to five thousand dollar course when I'm done. So. Uh, the price now is 200 bucks until midnight, and then next week I'm going to improve it drastically, get these books written, get the manuals done. A lot of stuff's going to go down. So it's pretty interesting. That's Flossy Love His Channel. I mean, it's funny. So, it definitely makes a difference on what you want to do. Because the whole just genesis of this thing is, what do you want to do? What do you want to uh, build? What do you, That's where you should be thinking. Because you never know. Okay, I have been... No, 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 no. I'm list a man... I've been sending out emails and, you know, I think anyone that's here that's been on the list is like, how many emails went out today? Five or six. And I will talk about that because it's going to sound really, really crazy, right? That if you send a bunch of emails, people will be pissed off. But the more emails you send, the more money you will make. Uh, I've tested it. It's been proven. It's funny. And we'll talk about that because one of the things you're going to have to do is set yourself up an email list. You're going to need maybe a splash page or not or a bit link you know we're just going to get real deep into the whole process because with youtube you want to maintain high watch time and there's a lot of tricks and tips where you can have someone watching and leave youtube and go get your stuff and keep your watch time high so that that is one of the things that's how that goes so if anyone has any questions just um, go ahead and put that out. And we will be going really hard next week, starting Tuesday. Because Monday is usually my uh, administration day. Fixing stuff up, um, getting things, you know. Yeah, so it will be a lot of administration stuff tomorrow. But you're definitely going to want to get in on this. Because... I'm a member of a group <clears throat> with some people you would know. And Facebook ads are powerful. I'm, I'm not going to deny that. But the thing is, I think over the long term, a YouTube channel is more powerful. Now, you got to build it up. You got to get the audience. So there's a lot of work that goes into it. But once you get that audience, um, like what I did this weekend, I didn't spend any money on ads. 
it was all organic. So if you are in a situation where you make one of those huge uh, lunches and then you and then you're counting on the next lunch, what if the next lunch doesn't go like you planned and you spend all that money? And I've seen people in that situation. I've seen people I know who've made a million or two in a year and the next year was like living with mom because spending on those Facebook ads, I think it becomes addictive because, <laughs> you know, people fill up their programs. Of, I mean, people are building lists of 10,000, 20,000 people in a week with Facebook ads. So it's it's really interesting. Health related consulting for Japanese audience. Do you perceive it worthwhile? Yeah. Because like right now there's this thing, someone that posted it, that people are watching Koreans are watching each other eat. It's just sitting there like, hey, I'm eating this. I mean, and they're getting a lot of views on YouTube. So you never know what's gonna work until you do it and put it out there. So that's gonna be a really, really big part of what you're doing. And we'll talk about that because, see, this is the thing. When, you know, we're having this conversation, right? And when you're talking about putting up a YouTube channel, who do you get to talk to? You can't talk to your friends. They don't know nothing. A lot of YouTubers are not going to tell you the truth. I'm fine. I'm seeing that. So in the group, you know, we'll be able to put the stuff together, uh, talk about it. Have each, you know, and have a group of people, everybody with some skin in it, because well, I'm going to just review your videos. You know, it's like put your video up, put a link in, and then we could talk about it, what you can do. Because I didn't have that. I had to figure all this shit out myself. And I think if I had this course in 2009 in a group like this, I could have did in two years what it took me eight to do. You see, the thing is, um. Let's see, do I have her? You've got people going to a million subscribers in two years. Now, there's more to it because a lot of them are affiliated, meaning that an influencer said, hey, watch her. I'm going to show you a good example of this. A really big, you know, this, this is just crazy. Uh, and some of you have seen it. Because, yeah, Sugar Mama TV. Now, I, f I saw something and I found her and I noticed that she was not doing, she's gotten much better. She wasn't doing any channel SEO. Uh, she's, she still hasn't, you know, she's got like, she's got playlists now. She didn't have a playlist and she was getting all these views and I could not figure it. Then I was like, okay, because it was really, really bugging me. I was like, okay. There's no way that she should be getting these views just throwing videos up, you know, because that's something that happens because, you know, like I said, you know, I watched the video. She's a super smart person. And as I was like looking at this, I was like, oh, OK, so it took me about three hours. Yeah, I know I'm obsessed, but I found out this one. Now, I want to show you the power of an influencer. Because they're both in Australia. So she brought sugar mama on her channel because all right at 1.7 million subscribers she has her own economy this girl is doing high six figures or seven figures easily easily so she at i think she's 24 she got sugar who's an accountant and financial planner in australia came on the channel she's like hey she put all my accounts together she helped me do this she helped me do this she helped me do this next thing you know bam See, this right here is gold. So if you know someone, and see, this is something else. I'm going to give you another example of this. If you know someone like this right here, <laughs> and let's go back to her channel. She started to do phone consults, and I remember it. There was this one thread, like 500 you know, people commenting. And I know there was like 20 of them and she was charging two or 300 bucks. It's like, oh, God, I love talking to her. I can't wait to talk to her again. That's the power of an influencer. You've got three ways you can get traffic on YouTube. An influencer, organic or paid. And I'm going to teach you. Now, I don't really know a bunch of people to get put on because my channel has been so different. But 
with this new channel that I'll be doing, you're going to see, because see, this is something else. Uh, as we, you know, we'll all be building channels together. Now, this is it. And like, I was supposed to post a video tonight, but that's not going to happen. I'll post it tomorrow. But you'll see me build this channel. So it, it won't be you just looking at me with the old, with this channel. You'll be seeing, watching me build this channel using the techniques and things that I'm telling you about right now. So that's it. Okay, well, if there's no more questions, I'm going to shut this down. The link's up. And like I said, we'll be doing another live training for people in the group this week. I hadn't set it up. Because like I said, Monday, going to make sure everybody gets in, make sure everybody gets their email, make sure everybody can log in and all that stuff before we jump into the other stuff Tuesday. So like I said, if you got a question, go ahead. I'm going to run over here and see if there's any questions in the webinar. Then I'm going to shut these puppies down. Let's see. Uh, Dr. Anita, we'll discuss that in the group. I feel I need to hook her angle. Yeah, we could talk about that. Um, well, you're going to have to have what's called a unique selling proposition anyway, which would be your hook or angle. Yeah, you, you would definitely have to do that. It just depends on your topic and everything else. All right, so that's everybody over there. And I'm back over here. Okay, looks like everybody's good. All right. And there's going to be some more stuff that's going to jump off next week. But I'll hold that until later. All right. I want to say thanks to everybody that came out. And uh, it's going to be very interesting. <laughs>